Oh, I've been eyed about an hour. I've got a crow decoy laid over a slit open rabbit. I had some interest about half an hour of crows. Managed to capture a little bit of footage. Had two or three flying on. And they landed on that uh, pylon again. I did get a rifle up on one, but I couldn't see enough for it to take a shot. I was trying to be patient, let it uh, get a little bit higher or move around a little bit for me, but it didn't happen, it flew off. The crows are still in the area, still flying around, so it's just case me impatient, waiting for one of them to come in or my pie should be along in a little bit. So, tactics I'm using this morning. I mentioned earlier that I've got a crow decoy out here, it's a real bird. You can use these plastic decoys, but Covid's are clever enough to realise that they're not real. You know, you can get away with it a few times and then that's it. So if you do shoot some birds, crows, magpies, always freeze a few. And then you can always use them as you need them. The bait I'm using this morning is uh, a slit open rabbit. You can use a few things to be honest with you. Going to pre-bait an area, breadcrumbs is the best bait. Uh, pre-bait for a week or two before you plan on shooting. That way, we have been breadcrumbs, you have to stay on bait, eat little bits at a time. If you put bread, like pieces of bread down, they just pick it up and fly off and eat it in trees. And it won't be an opportunity to shoot them. So at this time of year, it's going light for about 8 o'clock in the morning. No, in the middle of winter in UK. So I always make sure I get to ground, to permission, in darkness. I get myself in hide in darkness and set up in darkness. That way, no birds in the area are going to see you. And get yourself ready for a shoot. On this particular morning, I'm inside a old shipping container that's been converted into a bar for events at farm. But you'll notice, I've still got my gloves on. Ah. Then when I get out in the area or see anything, I cover my face with face veil. That's even though I'm still in hide. Uh, Covid have got eyesight at rivals, birds of prey. 300, 360 degrees, you can see just about. So. I always cover up any chinks of light, you just shine through, catch your pale face. Magpies, crows will see that, that's why you always have to cover up even when you're in hide. I've set my bait at, at my zero distance, so 29 yards, I zero up at. That gives me a secondary zero of about 15 yards. So I know I'm between them two ranges, I'm bang on for closer shots, so I'm on my zero. Obviously anything further than that then it's a bit of a hold over.
Well, crows were showing interest again. Yeah, but I could hear it rattle the magpies. I did manage to see one fly in front of the container and it landed in a strand of trees behind me. So I got rifle ready, got camcorder on record. I uh, covered my face up and I just waited. Uh, luckily, first one come down. I uh, took a shot, I went for a long shot. Uh, and I dropped that one. And then, what, a minute later, not even not even that, his mate come down. So I got a quick double on magpies. Well, that looks like it for today. I've been at hide about four hours now. Uh, managed to bag down a couple of magpies. I just had one more magpie circle bait, but won't commit, and I can't hear it in the area. And as morning's going on, wind's picking up. I said we're about 15 mile an hour now, so it's getting to a point where we're in air gun. It's getting unshootable. So I'm happy with double. Tactics have worked. Uh, just time to get packed up now. I'm going to fill both the squirrel feeders up, and they'll be good for next month. So I think I'll be on squirrels next. If weather's a bit bad, I can always take a bit of shelter in the uh, woods because there's supposed to be a storm rolling in next week. So thanks for watching. Any feedback, any comments, just leave below as usual and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you later.